Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out Interchange by Dafflewalker. This was requested by Erend. A medium-hard puzzle set in the overgrown theme, thanks to Mevius, Jose Pez DJ, and Serious Business for playtesting. And it's been added to favorites by several people, including the person who requested the map. Right, let's get started. I have- I liked Dafflewalker's other map that I played. Uh, I don't remember the name of it right now, but I definitely liked it, and I even made a walkthrough of it for him. So I'm probably gonna like this one too, because Devil Walker makes cool maps. I especially love this style. I always love this deteriorated style with the overgrowth, overgrown style. It's my favorite. Wow, the lighting in here! Look at the lighting in here. It looks so nice. <laughs> it's almost too well lit for this style, but it still looks nice, so I'm not complaining. All right, so that gets us a reverse funnel. We can unreverse it by moving something off of that button. We can push stuff, or pull stuff, through the death grills. What does this do? Give us another cube? Gives us a laser cube. Interesting. Huh. Well. It looks to me, very much, like there is signage there for us to put the funnel there. That would be my guess. And then we can take this off here. And I guess put the cube there or something? That does that, I suppose. Hmm. So then we would want to get in there ourselves, right? And the issue is that we can't see that portal surface once we're in there. Can I portal in there? Kind of? Not really? I should be able to portal over there, but for some reason it's not letting me. Huh. Well, I'll take that for now, because it seems less deadly than other options. Not sure how intense that it is, that seems pretty tight. But this would work, this would work just fine. So it looks like our end goals have a cube here and a cube there, so we definitely need to keep the funnel. That's good to know, I suppose. Hmm. Yeah, we definitely want to keep the funnel when we do this. Is there any way to turn this laser field off? It doesn't look like it, I don't think there is a way to turn this one off. Yeah, it seems pretty much permanently on. At the very least, let's do this much. Whoa, what the? Hold on, what? Excuse me? Uh, Dapple Walker, I think there might be a slight issue with... with, uh... that this debris or something. Something around here is causing the rendering to go wonky. I think it's- I think it's on the other side- it's on this side. It might be... I don't know. Might be... something- something's there. Anyway. Hmm. So we can do that easily enough, but we can't actually get ourselves in the funnel very easily, which is a problem. Wonder. That seems like it might not kill us, right? So. Let's try this. So we can get into the funnel this way, right? Well, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay then. Let's try that again. I should have waited a bit more. <laughs> I was a little impatient there. So let's go all the way back first. There we go. Then if we do this... and that... That seems like it won't kill me, right? Yeah, that seems to have definitely not murdered me, so that's good news. So now... Issue is that we have that cube in a place where we can't really do much with it. So if we could do that, and this... And that would at least bring the cube in here to us, right? That might be all we need, actually. Yeah, that might be all we needed to do. So I've got this cube now. Right? Actually, I can just leave it... Um... Hmm. How do I get the laser cube, though? That's a good question. Hmm. 
There's no good way to get that cube back on that button over there. Hmm. Like, I could try and swap these, but I don't think that would help much, honestly. I think the only reason it's a laser cube is so that we can differentiate it from the regular cube. That's... not particularly helpful, honestly. If we can, like, move it off... ...then... it's stuck there. Move it back on. Hmm. Yeah, I can't photo on this for some reason. do that, but I don't think it's intended to get the cube off the button that way. Hmm. And even if we have a cube over here, we can't, like, portal through the exit. Yeah, there's a fizzler, so we definitely need both cubes. Hmm. Back up a bit here. Let me put this back on here again. And sure, we'll do that, why not? Not particularly helpful. As a way, there's not a way- as far as I know, there's not a way to have the reverse funnel and then also be in here at the same time. Yeah, I think that's just not possible. We can certainly do this as many times as we want. gets this into here. We can get the cube over to here so that we can grab it when this is on, but I don't know what to do about this guy. That's the issue. Because I need to be able to walk past this, and then I don't care what happens to that guy. But there's no way to push him off... the button. Either towards me or into the deadly goo. So I'm bad with funnels. I have mentioned that many times in the past, and I generally struggle with funnels. <laughs> Usually it's something obvious that I'm just not thinking of. But I've generally... generally been pretty bad when it comes to funnels. I don't think anything changes now that I've got... ...portal on both sides here. Or does it? Not really, cause I, c I still can't get into the funnel, like even... Even now I've got portals on both sides, I do this... I can't get into the funnel from here. I can certainly take both cubes over there. But that doesn't really help me much. Well, that was weird. Excuse me, game? What is going on here? Something is definitely freaking the game out here. I don't know what it is. 
Wait, there's portal surfaces there. How did I not see that before? How did I not see that before? That is so scary going through that black mass. Sure that works. So let's go do this again, right? Except this time... This time... This time, we will... take advantage of these portal surfaces. I didn't realize those were there. That's what I was missing. That answers all my problems, actually. There we go. So we have that there now. That's good news. Sort of. I think. That's also portable. Interesting. So if I get this cube to me, right? Yeah, that works. Oh, I can actually put it underneath the dropper as well. Then I can put this back there. Hmm. That's still a little bit of an issue... in a few ways. Cause there's no manual respawn for that one, there's a manual respawn for this one. So I can get into the funnel from here now, which is nice, but... ultimately not very helpful. Cause I need to be able to get to the funnel after pressing that button, which is the issue. And I also can't press it from this side cause then it would just trap me here. Yep, trap. I feel like I was close earlier, and I feel like that would've helped me... when I was doing something earlier, but I can't remember what it was now. Cause it is- oh. Well, that's okay. Not ideal, but it works. <laughs> the issue is that from standing right here, I can't see that portal surface. And I would need to, to be able to do my plan. And I'm not- there's no way I can, like, juggle myself into the funnel, so that's out of the question. I can definitely see it from here, though. There's a portal surface... there... but... Oh, we can't actually use that portal surface, that's just... there... to be annoying, I guess. Very nice hammer work, though, I will say. And I'm pretty sure this has not been 77 glass, we're not gonna, like, break this glass with a high-speed impact from a cube. I sort of think I see what we need to do. If I do that, right? This whole thing I said was impossible to do earlier is now possible. Yeah, this is what I was missing. Right, right. Can't believe it took me so long to figure that out. So, 
Hmm, no, actually that's still not helpful, because I can't get my portal on. <laughs> yeah, hmm. Can't get my portal in the funnel while staying in here. That's the issue. Because then, if I could, I could suck the cube up, and then I could go through myself, and we would be, we would be done, basically. Although, not quite. No, even if I could do that, it would still not be done, because I would have no way to remove that cube without losing a portal to here. Hmm... I am quite perplexed. I'm not sure what good swapping the cubes does me, because that cube only auto-responds, there's no button for it. If I got it on this button, I don't think that'd be very helpful. But it's- it, they're certainly different for a reason, but I think that's just because we can manually respawn one of them. I wonder if this goo pool here is entirely created by this dripping water. That's my headcanon, I'm going with that. Whoop-dee-doo! Absolutely useless. What's going on in there? Hmm. Hmm. Definitely don't need to do cube stacking. Like, I could theoretically cube stack my way into the funnel, but it would definitely not be intended. Yeah, that doesn't even get me the right height anyway. So what if we try the cubes the other way? I don't think it works the other way, but we can at least try, right? It's worth a shot. We put the laser cube on this button instead. For instance. So we go through here, yada yada. Do this, and then this. Laser cube's still accessible. Honestly, I don't think it makes much of a difference, though. Cannot put a portal here, as far as I can tell. Oh, there's a- I didn't even see that! There's a light strip there! That's why we can't put a portal there! <laughs> yep, that would certainly explain things. Can do that again, not that it's helpful. This doesn't make much of a difference, honestly. Really doesn't make much of a difference. Oh, thanks for this Microsoft Windows 10 Fall Creators update. This is exactly what I wanted to do in this situation. Just look around at my surroundings. Alright, enough of that. Hmm. I am genuinely confused. Can't be over here with the reverse funnel. Because if we could be over here with the reverse funnel, then we'd be done. 
Is it even possible to do that? Uh, excuse me, I meant to shoot there, please. We can swap these cubes all we want, I don't think it makes a difference, honestly. Yep, that doesn't help much, honestly. So if we put this cube back on here, right? We can be over here with the reversed funnel, but we can't be over there with the reversed funnel. Hmm... Because of the nature of the funnel, we want to keep our portal surface here. Hmm... Like, once we're on this side with the reversed funnel, we're- we're permanently stuck here, we cannot... I don't see a way to get this cube back on this button. You see, there's intentionally a lack of a portal surface right there where we would need it. We can't push the cube back on, unfortunately. Although... Might be able to push it up... And back over... That might work! It'll be- it would be a bit finicky, but it would work. Let's go with that. So we have the cube here, right? Yeah. Let's do that. And then... we... can... do this. Jump through here, do this. As long as we stay on this side, that thing should theoretically work. So if we lift the cube up... Wait, what? What did it hit? What? Um... Okay then, let's- let's try this again. I'm not sure what it hit up there. There's no fizzler up there, right? No. Did it just go out of bounds because I didn't stop it in time? Perhaps? Maybe it's- maybe I'm not supposed to be doing that. Maybe it's intentionally there to stop people like me from doing exactly what I'm doing. But I'm gonna work on the assumption that... that was just a weird fluke. Maybe it went out of bounds or something. Let's try this one more time. Well, that's a bit too far, but... luckily... So there's that, right? I'm hoping that much is intended. Because if- if that fizzling cube was a sign that we're not supposed to do that, uh... I'm just gonna ignore it for now. Right, so... Now, theoretically, excuse me, we can do this. Hmm. And that should bring both cubes right over to us. I hope that's intended, because... If not, I really have no idea. Why is this glass so shiny there? Interesting. Put that one there. And this one... There we go. Alright, what's next? Is that it? I feel like I broke that. Is there a solution video?
Hmm. There's a walkthrough? Let me scroll up, please. Where is the walkthrough linked at? I'm not entirely sure. Right, well, I'll look at it afterwards. For now, though, I think I'm just gonna call it here, cause we've been at this 25 minutes. It was definitely... Definitely medium hard, I guess. Wait, what was- what did it say? Yeah, medium hard, yeah. Definitely medium, at least. I hope- I hope I did that right. Not sure what was left of his link cube. So anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!